Ladies and gentlemen, Generation Wrestling returns with episode nine. Ricky Owens here, and we are kicking things off with Quadruple P. Tell them what that is, Sakar. The pinnacle of Persian perfection personified. But he is going to have his hands full tonight as he faces up against former CZW Iron Man champion, former MCW tag team champion, CZW owner, DJ Hyde. DJ Hyde, an 18 year veteran here in the world of professional wrestling. And now he makes his way to Generation Wrestling, looking to make a statement. And he plans on doing it by going through Zakar Shaw as we look at the tail of the tape. Everything is just in the advantage of DJ Hyde, including that 18 year experience advantage over Zakar's one, as I send it down to the beautiful Rosaria Elsa. I got you. From man. Omaha, I Nebraska, weighing 300 pounds, the Lariat God, DJ High. Zakar during the introduction saying that he has DJ's number. Yeah. Ring the bell. But we'll see. Hey guys, look, it's Peter Griffin in the ring. <laughs> you know, I, I was gonna give him maybe a slight chance, but after that statement, yeah. I'm just expecting this car to get the f beat out of him now. DJ doesn't seem to take too much of offense. I think he knows that he is just going to beat Zakar's ass, which I am going to be completely fine with watching. You're standing up to me. You're standing up to me. You're standing up to me. Ooh. DJ just. Leveling Zakar with a forearm. Zakar very wisely staying on the outside of the ring, taking a breather, maybe coming up with a game plan of how to take down the Lariat God. Zakar, this is not a man that you should take lightly. And Zakar going over that chain early, right in front of the referee. Oh, Zakar go for the shot, but DJ easily seeing it and catching it. Referee, referee taking that chain away as he should. Oh, low blow! Oh, Zakar with a cutter! Zakar may actually pull this one out! One, two! Oh, DJ, DJ got his leg on the rope! Oh, Zakar, you are now, man. Zakar. Clearly, he's at a loss for what he needs to do. Now just laying in stomps. Zakar clearly flustered. Maybe he didn't have a game plan. Maybe he believed that that low blow and that cutter would be it. But DJ, as I said, 18 year veteran, has great ring awareness. I really think DJ getting the ropes really threw a wrench into Zakar's plans. I think he thought that was going to be it. That that was his game plan all along, and now that's out the window. Zakar, you you need to take your attention off the referee. Keep it on a man like DJ Hyde. And now just choking him in the corner. And Zakar taking all of those five seconds. I got the Lariat God on his knees. He's not a god now. Oh, you hear it, Zakar questioning the Lariat God. Zakar planning on making a mortal out of him. Ooh, and just a quick jab. <laughs> oh, you hear it. The crowd knows it. I know it. Oh, that... Yeah, that... That's not gonna work, Zakar. You you gotta come up with something different, man. You know what, Miami? Do it again. There we go. Do it again. Oh, and DJ put him in the corner and top of his own. Nothing quite like the sound of a well-placed chop. Yeah. 
Well, let's hear it again. <laughs> DJ just trying to drive the wind out of the car. Let's let's hear it a third time. Oh. oh, DJ taking him all around the world. Ooh, chop. Oh, DJ inviting the car to a party, a violence party. DJ getting fired up. And the car is definitely in trouble now. But DJ taking his attention off of the car and putting it on the fans. Not something you want to do. I think you want to actually finish the car off as soon as you can. He is a wily competitor bringing the car to his feet. Oh, a back elbow. And the car retreating to the corner. But that may have been what DJ wanted. Oh! DJ charging, but the car managing to get out of the way. Oh, but DJ catching him. Oh, setting him up, putting him in the tree of woe. What does DJ have planned for him here? Oh, not, not exactly sanitary, but just adding insult to injury, giving him that little extra sting. Oh, and Zakar still trapped DJ across the ring. Cannon pull! Oh, and Zakar just getting squished in that corner. Oh, and you saw DJ taking off that elbow pad. Oh, he's setting it up. Oh, Zakar, don't get up, man. No! Oh! Lariat, and that is going to be it. DJ Hyde picking up the victory here in his debut at Generation Wrestling. As we take another look, the car using that chain as a distraction with that low blow and that cutter, but DJ... Luckily, as I said, that ring awareness staying near the ropes. And that unsanitary chop to the chest. That would be the prelude to the cannonball. And the lariat putting the car down for the count of three. DJ Hyde going 1-0 and in the Generation Wrestling. The car, the car's not finished! Oh! That loaded jab to the face and that cutter. Zakar may have lost the battle. Yeah, Zakar, you better run for your life, man, because DJ gets up. It's not going to be a good day for you, my friend. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, our main event, Tommy Seto taking on the returning, the former... Generation Wrestling Champion, Dante Caballero. Caballero compete here in Generation Wrestling. Ever since losing the Generation Wrestling Championship to Ryo, side note, actually, Dante sending on Hell Alvarado to the back saying that he's got this. He, he believes that he doesn't need any help whatsoever to defeat Tommy Seto. But as I was saying, ever since losing the Generation Wrestling Championship to Ryo, Dante just went silent, but he is back here tonight looking to clean up, in his words, clean up Generation Wrestling, starting with Rush Hour, Dion Epps out with an injury, and now he turns his attention to this man, Tommy Seto, but Tommy had some words for Dante earlier tonight, let's hear from him right now. Boy Tommy Seto has a match against. I'm not talking about anyone in the cartel. I'm not talking about Diaz. I'm not talking about Angel. I'm talking about Dante Caballero, Baba. El Jefe. The Don. El Pendejo. 
Dante, let me tell you something. I respect you. You're great. But it doesn't matter where you're the champion of, whether it's Peru, Puerto Rico, America, it doesn't matter. Because when you step in with El Nino Fuego, none of that matters. Hot boy! Tail of the tape, Dante with a five year experience advantage over Tommy Three as I send it down to the lovely Miss Tara. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. interesting. I didn't catch this at first, yeah. but yeah. during that introduction, yeah. Yeah. that's when I actually really noticed it. Dante usually is accompanied by Portia, but she's not even out here. We know she's in the building tonight. I saw her earlier today, but she is not out here for this matchup. And Tommy doesn't look like, doesn't seem like he's taking Dante too seriously. Maybe it's just a way to get into his head. But as I said, Dante has been away from Generation Wrestling for almost two months, but doesn't look like he has missed a step. Collar and elbow tie up once again. Dante taking control of the arm. Tommy definitely needs to take Dante seriously. This is the leader of the cartel. He is the man who orchestrated the attack on Dion. Dante believing that ever since Ryo won the Generation Wrestling Championship and just allowing anybody to challenge him. It's essentially just watered down Generation Wrestling, believing that nobody, not even Ryo, is worthy of being Generation Wrestling Champion except Dante Caballero. Oh, is, is Dante is just, just working his way around Tommy, going back to that wrist lock. Tommy reversing it and pushing him back into the ropes. Tommy sending Dante across the ring. Drop down, leapfrog. Oh, trying to go for it again, but Dante had it scouted. Oh, but Tommy had Dante scouted. A drop kick right to the face. And Tommy, probably a bad idea, allowing Dante to get to his feet. Oh, Dante sidestepping, but Tommy jumping right back into the arms of Dante, up and over, going for that kick. Oh, but Dante, Dante may have been going for the line of paradise right there. But Tommy had it scouted. And just trading waist locks. Oh, and just driving Tommy's throat into that top rope. Very smart by Dante. And then a forearm to the face. Tommy is in trouble now. Tommy maybe should have, should have struck while the iron was hot. Dante was down. Tommy should have just gone on the attack. But now Dante laying in a strike to the back. Oh, going over a strike in the corner, but Tommy reversing it with strikes of his own. Oh, but Dante answers with a forearm. Oh, look at that. Dante seemingly backing off, and Tommy now just laying in kicks to Dante in the corner. Something across the ring, but Dante reversing it. Tommy sending Dante to the apron. Oh, but Dante again driving Tommy's throat across that top rope. Dante slowing the pace down. You can see it. He is now just stalking his prey. Oh, you heard it. Thought you were a hot boy. Dante proving that he is the man here in Generation Wrestling. Just slamming Tommy to the mat. Going for that cover. Uh, but only a two count. Tommy, not just fighting for himself in all reality, he's more or less fighting for his tag team partner as well. As I mentioned, Dante orchestrating the attack, trying to take out Rush Hour. So Tommy fighting for his tag team partner, Dion Epps, as well as himself. And Dante just stretching those arms, but Tommy looking to fight out. But that kick to the gut just shut down all of the fight. 
boot from Tommy. May give him that little reprieve that he needed. But Tommy off the ropes. Oh, going, going for that crossbody, but just caught by Dante. And a slam to the mat. Dante once again going into that cover, but once again only for a two count. Dante does not look flustered. I think he knows that how much fight Tommy has in him. I think right now he's just letting Tommy think, what do I have to do to beat somebody like El Jefe? You can see he's trying, he's letting the crowd get behind him. Dante maybe letting them build up hope before he just decides that he wants to destroy it all. Oh, Dante going for something. Tommy getting out of it and it hits the Gurry. This could be the opening that Tommy needs. Tommy with a clothesline in a second. Tommy's feeling it now. This is what Tommy needs to do. He needs to stay on the offensive against the former champion. Oh, but Dante with a spine buster. That could be it. Oh, but only a two count. What are you doing about my Well, you could hear Dante questioning the referee. Now I think he's starting to get frustrated. Now I think he's starting to wonder, what do I have to do to put down Hot Boy? I'm here on a mission. He said he's on a mission. Dante on a mission to, quote, clean up Generation Wrestling of anybody who is unworthy of challenging for the championship. Just laying in sledges to the back. He said, Dante just stalking Tommy. Oh, Tommy just pushing Dante away. Oh, but oh, Dante maybe going for that line of paradise. Oh, that's exactly what he's going for, but Tommy able to counter it. Oh, that leap front leg drop. This is what put Diaz down last time. Oh, but. Oh, Dante able to kick out. Oh, this could be the moment. Tommy looking to pick up maybe one of the biggest wins of his career. Oh, going for that kick. Oh, Dante was able to duck the first one, but not able to react to the go around. And Tommy slamming Dante to the mat, into the cover. Oh, Dante barely kicking out. Oh, Tommy, Tommy needs to stay on the offensive. Cannot get flustered. Cannot afford to make a mistake against El Jefe. Cannot afford to make a mistake against the former Generation Wrestling Champion, Dante Caballero. Oh, Tommy's calling for it. Tommy's saying that's it, but Dante, oh, with that gut buster. Oh, and that sick kick. Dante into the cover. Oh, but only a count of two. Oh, Dante going right back to it. Dante, Dante knows that he cannot allow Tommy any kind of reprieve. Oh. What, what is this about? What is Ryo's music hitting, but no sight of the champion. Oh, Tommy, Tommy did that sunset flip. Oh, Tommy! Tommy picking up the win! Tommy Soto picking up the victory over El Jefe Dante Caballero and escaping the ring without injury at the hands of Angel Alvarado or Dante. Tommy Seto possibly picking up the biggest win of his career. As we take another look, Dante slamming Tommy down the match. Dante just wore Tommy down almost the entirety of the match. With that, that spine buster. That Tommy reacting with that enziguri and slamming Dante to the mat, getting a close near fall. With that gut buster and that sick kick nearly put Tommy away. And then Dante saying that that was it, but the stretching from the music of the Generation Wrestling Champion, Ryo, allowing Tommy to get the pinfall victory. Tommy Seto 
possibly, that could possibly. Where were you? Where were you? That win could possibly put Tommy in contention for the Generation Wrestling Championship. As you saw, Dante is not happy. Rosaria here with ACR. You're going to be making your GLL debut, and we just want to know how you're feeling and what you plan to accomplish here. You know, for so many years, I've been the only Peruvian women's professional wrestler in the United States. And what I would really like to do is just share with everyone the spirit of Peru. I just want to, everyone to indulge in my culture. Rosaria! Hi! Hi, Portia. An interview with a new girl. That's so nice. Where was mine? Well, she's making her debut. It was just on the list. You know, she's making her debut. Well, welcome. Hi, how are you? What are you gonna do? Do you, do you wanna go settle this? Do you wanna get in a fight? Oh, you wanna match? You wanna match with me? Did I stutter? All right, I'll give you a match. If I pick the ref, then you can have your match. Let's go. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, we have Boom Horton taking on the Destroyer, Aaron Ash. But that's not all. As you just heard, the challenge was laid down. Next week, we are going to see the debut of ACR, and she will be taking on the Cartel's Porsche. All of that next week. But for Rosaria Elsa and Miss Tara, I'm Ricky Owens. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>